Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 99. Please turn to it. Page number 99 and today is our lesson number 45. Today we will discuss line graph. The yes yesterday and day before yesterday and perhaps the day before that, I don't remember it, we have been discussing uh, concepts such as frequency distributions, we talked about uh, bar graph, we spoke of a pie chart and today we will talk about a notion called a line graph. A line graph starts out like any other uh, graph and graphical presentation with the raw data. Now the difference here is that in the, in, the, in the book we already have been given a line graph. Pretend the graph does not exist. What I want you to do is look at the graph and extract the raw data from it and then draw the graph yourself. And if you look at the graph carefully, this is, all, well, this is what you will extract. If you look carefully, it's, it shows there the profit of in, 95, in year 95, they show a profit of 2 million. In 96, they show a profit of uh, about 3.5 million. I'm going to pretend it's 3 million just to keep our math simple. 97 we had a total profit of 5 million, 98 we had 4, 99 and 2000 we have 7 and finally last year they show us a profit of slightly under 5 million dollars which I'm going to pretend is 5 million just to keep our math simple. So let's draw it shall we? We're going to draw a line graph. Let's do it. So we have to put our dollar amount here on the y-axis and the year here and it goes all the way from 95 to 2001. 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2000, and 2001. Straight enough? Now let's get going. It goes all the way from 2 to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In 95 we have 2 million, 95 we have 2 million right here. In 96 we have 3. Then it goes up to 5, 97, it goes up to 5, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in 97. That's it. You keep joining them and what, what will emerge at the end is what is known as the line graph. That's what it is. Very simple. In 98, we, it drops down to 4. It drops down to 4. In 99, it goes up again to 7. I should say again, it goes up to 7 rather. 99. So 6 and 7. And then it stays, it stays at that level for the next year, 99 it goes up to 7 and then in 2000 it stays at 7 and finally in 2001 it drops to 5. In the book actually, if you look at the graph carefully as I already mentioned, it's slightly under 5, I'm going to pretend it's 5. So 2001 it drops to 5. There you go, that's your line graph. That's what it should look like. Now what I'm going to do now is to present to you some problems. Some problems that are actually not in the book. I'm going to give you three problems to work on. And if you like, at the end of each problem after I finish stating it, if you like, you can pause the video, answer the question yourself, and then continue the video and compare your work, the work that you're going to do yourself with the work that you and I will do together. Okay, so here's the graph. There. It goes up goes down again, goes up, stays flat, and then goes down. Voila. That's what it looks like. So, I'm going to give you, as I said, three questions. Here's question number one. Question number one is very straightforward, which is... Let's not call them question number one, because it will be confusing. Let's call it part A. Part A is... What was the... Average profit 
from 95 to 2001. Very straightforward question, what was the average profit? In order for us to find the average profit, we have to add up all these figures here. So the average, the average is going to be some of these figures, 2, 3, 5, 4, 7, 7, and 5. 2, 3, 5, 4, 7, 7, and 5. Two, three, five, four, seven, seven, and finally five. Let's add them up, shall we? So seven. Let's start from here. Two plus three is five. Five plus five is ten. That's very easy. Ten, ten, and then I see fourteen. Fourteen plus ten is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus four is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus five is going to be twenty-three. It adds up to twenty-three. As of, as of two, 23. Now we have to divide it by the number of observations. How many how many years do we have? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Always count them. Don't just subtract one from the other. You're going to get it wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 23 divided by 7. So how much does it work out to be for the average? Well, that is same as 21 divided by 7 plus 2 divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3, so it's 3 and 2 and 7. That's, that's your profit. 3 and 2 seventh of a million dollars. 3 and 2 seventh of a million dollars. That's all. That's all there is. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to round this thing, you could round it actually by pretending. By pretending. Okay, watch what I'm going to do. We can, we can, we can, we, well, there is no need to pretend. There is no need to use the word pretend. This is approximately the same as, listen carefully, this is approximately the same as 3 and 2.1 divided by 7. You see? And that's going to give us 0.3. Because 21 divided by 7 is 3. 21 divided by 3 is 6. 21 divided by 7 is 3. So 2.1 divided by 7 is going to be 0.3. So it's approximately, it's approximately 3.3 million dollars. 3.3 million dollars is the approximate profit. So that was the question number one. Let's do the next one, shall we? I need the room, so I need to raise everything. Just give me one second. The next question we have is part B. What was the what was the approximate percentage change from two thousand to two thousand and one? Notice the word approximate, they are not looking for the exact value. Well, in 2000, what was the profit? In 2000, the profit was 7 million. So we go from 7 to 2001, it goes to 5. So the question is, what's the percentage change when we go from 7 to 5? Well, we know, we know the percentage change is same as, percentage change is to be calculated as the change divided by the old number, the number that we start out with, times 100. And this is something that we learned on day number 14. This formula that you see there is something that we learned on day number 14. Percentage change is a very important concept because they do give you several percentage problems and among those percentage problems that you're going to encounter, the most important concept that they're dealing with here is how to calculate percentage change, obviously. Of course, there are going to be several other questions dealing with percentages such as converting decimal into percentages or converting fraction into percentages. But they're also going to ask you to calculate percentage change from one number to the other. On day number 14 is when we learn this formula. If this formula does not ring a bell, make sure you watch day number 14. If you have not watched it already, and if you did watch it already, watch it again, just to refresh your memory. So that's it. So how much is this change from 7 from going? It's very important, going from 7 to 5. We're going from 7 to 5. That's the most important part. When you're doing the percentage change, you must know where you're going from, what is your starting point, and what is your ending point. That's the key part. So we're going from 7 to 5, obviously it's a drop, a drop of 2. It's a drop of 2, and we divide it by the original number, which is 7, times 100. Times 100. Well, what can we do here? 
we have to divide 7 by 100. Let's divide this 7 by 100. How many 7s? How many 7 in 1? One? 1 has no, I'm, I'm dividing. What we're doing here, what we're do, doing here is, is times 100. So what we're doing here is, instead of writing the 7 over here, we're writing it over here, and we're dividing it by 7. That's all we're doing here. Except you don't write it like it's going to look silly. So let's divide this 100 by 7 so we can knock out the 7. How many 7s in a 10? 10 has 1 7. The remaining 3 goes, listen carefully, the remaining 3 goes and joins the 3 becomes 30. How many 7s in a 30? 30 has 4 7s. 4 7s are 28. And it's going to have a remainder of 2, so it's 14th and 2 7. And since they are looking for the approximate answer, you can say that approximately, so 2 times 14 and 2 7, listen carefully, 2 times 14 and 2 7 is going to be 28 and 2 times 2 7. 2 times 2 7, 2 times 2 7, because what it is is this. What it is is this. 2 times 14 and 2 7. 14 times, 2 times 14 is 28, and 2 times 2 7 is 4 7. And 4 7, 3.5 divided by 7 is half, so it's approximately 28 and a half percent. Approximately 28 and a half percent. But of course in the exam I doubt very much if they're going to get that nitty gritty. If you simply multiply 14 times 2, I bet you one of the answer choices is going to be 28 percent. And all the others are going to be too far apart. So the correct answer in this case is 2 times 14 which is 28 percent because of the word approximate. Let's do one more, one last one. Again the next one is also a percentage change problem. And the question now is, what was the, there is no word here, approximate, approximate is gone. What was the percentage change from 95 to 97? From 95 to 97. Again, pause the video, do the work yourself if you have to. Pause the video and do it yourself. In 95, we have a profit of 2 million. And in 97, we have a profit of 5 million. So we go from 2 to 5. 2 to 5. And this time, the change is positive 3. This time, the change is positive 3. Because you change is defined as change is defined as new minus the old. That's how we define the change. The new number is 5. The old was 2. So the change is 3. 3 divided by 2 times 100. This cancels out with 50. And looks like... It's a change of 150%. Going from 2 to 5 is a change of 150%, which makes perfect sense if you think about it, because if you go from 2 to 4, 2 to 4 is a change of is a change of 100%. And then another one, another one would be another 50%. So 2 to 5 is 150% change. So the question was, what was the percentage change in profit from two, year 2000? Uh, year, uh, what was the percentage change? from year 95 to 97 and the answer is the change in profit was 150 percent that was it i'll see you tomorrow or we'll do the next problem on the page there the bar graph that you see okay bye now